Hello, my name is Lucas and I'm a target analyst for the Science Based Targets Initiative, here to give you a top tip for submitting your targets. To progress submissions, we must have clarity on total scope 3 target coverage. When looking at scope 3 target coverage in Table 3.1.5 in the near term submission form, companies frequently experience avoidable delays due to inaccurate or incomplete information provided. So, to explain this, each column represents a target, each row represents a category. So in each cell, please fill in the percentage of that category's emissions which are to be included in the target, and not the percentage of total emissions in that category. To minimise delay times, please do not label categories as not applicable just because the value of those emissions is low. As scope free target coverage must exceed 67% for near term targets, we still need those values to determine the scope free coverage. This is especially important moving forwards because for long term scope free target coverage, this percentage must exceed 90%. These small categories not included can soon add up. Thanks for taking time to listen to this top tip. I hope this is now clear and that you experience no such delays in your submission.